Hey YouTube, it's Mega Ones Real. Welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu Flying Type Pony Run, Episode 25. Self Co Company Part 3. Or Self Co Part 3. Something like that. This episode. I'm not sure what I did in the last episode, even though I literally just recorded it. I'm afraid I blanked it out. <laughs> my bad. My memory is bad. I also said my battery. My battery. What the heck is even a battery? <laughs> is that like a battery bed? Or a bed powered battery? Wait, what? Okay, seriously, I'm... We've only just started and I'm already not making any sense. A battery powered bed. That's what I meant to say, not a bed powered battery. How would that even work? <laughs> oh, don't mind me, I just got my bed, my battery, it's powered by beds. <laughs> well, as you sleep in it, they charge up. That would be awesome, if people could figure that out. There's the end of power, power problems. Just that people sleep. Infinite power! Because when you think about it, there's always people sleeping at every single moment of every single time. How? How do you think? Time zones. People on the other side of the planet when you're awake are in the dark. So, aka, it's their night time. So, there's always people asleep on the planet, no matter what. I know. It's deep, isn't it? Deep like a deep sleep! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For the four rocket sisters. Ah, so that's what it meant by I Sorry sis, I lost from that last person. Yeah, I remember that, yet yeah, I don't remember anything else from the last episode. Wow, I got a very selected memory. A Persian. This person must be pretty close to the to Giovanni. To have a Persian. Um, let's use fly. I don't think I've used fly yet. Use his fence. I'm not protecting though! Honestly, I wish fence would just fail if they didn't use like a form of protect. Whee! Not gonna lie though, every time Aerodactyl uses fly and he like comes dive bombing down, I can't help but feel like Aerodactyl just screaming at the opponent with its mouth open. Now, if you're running low on health or PP or whatnot, come here. There is a Nurse Joy hiding just up there. You can see her shoes. It's Shoes Joy! Oh my god. Nope, there she is. Shh, I'm a beautiful spy who is disguised as a nurse. I, oh, are you tired? She's never rest here. No. Okay, so she's not technically Nurse Joy. I wonder if this is that same person who gave us the Team Rocket uniform. What well, item? There's an item here. Ooh, an elixir. That'll come in handy. <coughs> but yeah, I wonder if this is that same person who's in disguise in the Team Rocket corner. Well, in the game corner. Hmm, interesting. I actually didn't notice that last time. Ah, I know what floor we're on. This is the second to last floor, and I do believe the final floor only has one item. Don't make me battle, don't make me battle. Yay! But I must have to battle, I must have to battle because there is somebody in my way. Full heal. I could do with that. <laughs> yeah, this rock, this grunts in our way. Who, who we got going on right now? Everybody's level 45 except for Peckers. But it honestly doesn't matter who's in the lead because they all gain equal amount of XP. Now that is one thing I, you know what, let's actually go into a bit of a conversation about Pokemon Sword and Shield right now. A lot of people are really hating on the game because of uh, the Pokédex. I mean, I get it, but... So, I mean, there's a chance, like, one of your favorite Pokémon might not be in the game and you can never use it in Sword and Shield. But that's not entirely true. You forget about the type of day and age we're in right now. I mean, they could do forms of DLC or updates, stuff like that. They could literally add the Pokémon in later as they do it, because if memory serves me right from the, their excuse to not being able to add the entire setup of all the Pokemon in the game, there are some Pokemon that can't go into the game at all. <coughs> not even by transfer through the Pokebank, or in Sword and Shield's case, Pokemon Home. Well, their excuse, what? Well, I wouldn't say. Well, it's big. Wait, what? I missed? If I go to Rock Slide. They said that there, there's just not enough time to do uh, new and high quality sprites 
and like all the new like animation styles and that because of the Pokemon walking around in the overworlds and stuff like that. There's just not enough time in order to get the game released this year on their actual deadline that they need to get the game out to. <clears throat> so that makes sense. But when you think about it that way, if that's just it, the time constraints, they could just... Ooh, flamethrower. Oh, actually, that's awesome. Charizard, you're useful again. Okay, back to what I was saying. <coughs> um, that if it's just time that's causing an issue to actually put in all the Pokemon, that's something they could do in forms of updates or DLC later on as the year goes, the next year goes by. So they can keep on like once every month or two, add like ten, five to ten Pokemon each every month or two. If it's just time constraints doing it, they can literally add the Pokemon in later. So in a sense, I don't see the confusion. They said they can add it in for the game's release, but they never said that they could never add the Pokemon in. Like they could never be in. They never said that. So we got a smaller deck to start with. It's probably going to be somewhere around the 500 mark, which is still a lot of Pokemon when you think about it. <laughs> but uh, yeah. We still got a lot of Pokemon, and there is still a chance that the Pokemon can be added on la later on. We just don't have that form of information right now because the game's not even released. So I'm remaining optimistic about uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield because the game looks awesome. I want to play a brand new Pokemon game with brand new Pokemon in general. So that's going to be awesome in itself because I mean, my very first playthrough, I don't give a damn about the old Pokemon. I'm only playing through my through the brand. Every time a new generation comes out, I only ever play with the newest generation of Pokemon. I don't care about the old Pokemon whatsoever. It's only the newer Pokemon I want to play with because, well, they're the new Pokemon added to the game. Why wouldn't you want to play with them over the old Pokemon? So, I'll be playing mostly with the newer Pokemon for the like first like two months or so the game comes out. Then I'll be interested in what like the older Pokemon are capable of in the newest generation. Like, new moves that have been added through TMs or level ups and stuff like that. So by that point there, we might have some information about all other Pokemon that aren't in the game added in through forms of updates or DLC. So, yeah, I don't really care right now about the old, about some of the Pokemon that can't be added to the game at this current point in time. And I really wish people would take that as, go that way as well. Because I think that just downgrading the game and making things harder for the Pokemon company than it is because they feel like the game won't sell, they might not put as much effort into the game and stuff like that. I believe in what this one um, live streamer, I forget who it was because this was a while ago, said that what would you prefer in a Pokemon game? Uh, all your Pokemon added in and not much new features added to the game? or? Not as many Pokemon that could be added to the game and more brand new features to play with because you've never seen them before. In my opinion, I would go for the brand new features because that would be because in the terms of that what I just said, they're brand new, something we've never seen before and in turn would be more interesting. Now Pokemon we've seen over like the last 10 years, in my opinion. I know not everybody thinks like that, but that's just my two coughings. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. That's my thought on Sword and Shield. Game comes out, I'm buying the deluxe version, the double pack, and I'm going to be playing through both games. Probably not simultaneously. I'll play through Sword first, then I'll play through Shield. Two different teams, and all of them is going to be the Generation 8 Pokemon. Don't care about the older generation. Up, up, and away! Whee! Oh yeah, I forgot, it does an actual teleporter. <coughs> That's far enough! What? You again? Me again, as many times as it takes. I will not let you reach the boss. <coughs> oh, what's that? Reach the boss? A bigger, do you think? He's right up ahead. So that's the boss's team rocket is right in here in this building. That makes it e that makes things easier then. Go, Team Rocket. That's our best chance. Beat that boss. Old man, you're dealing with me. 
Hey, we don't have to battle our rival. Up, up, and away. <coughs> so yeah, if you guys somewhat feel the same about um, Pokemon Sword and Shield, the way how I've said, put that in the comment section below if you believe the same way I do and a fair few other people in the Pokemon community do as well. Like to actually give the game a chance and don't just whinge like a couple of babies just because certain Pokemon aren't being added to the game. Seriously. Grow up. They can't put everything into a game. Pokemon is becoming huge right now. There's almost 1,000 Pokemon in existence. 1,000! <coughs> That's insane. This Pokemon Sword and Shield is probably going to lead us up to about 900 Pokemon. Probably. Probably very close to that number. So, yeah, I would probably get the game developers a break. <coughs> but, again, that's just my two wheezing heads. I'm sorry. I was just sticking to that two coughings thing. <coughs> and the fact as well is because there is actually a wheezing on my screen. Thunderbolts! Ah, I no, took that like a champ. Probably because I'm almost ten levels ahead. Time for the fly. Oh, you know what? No, forget fly. We could just win this right now. Time for a crunch. And drill. Crunch drill! Nap, nap. Look at that. I actually found myself an interesting conversation to talk about. We've been talking for like 10 minutes straight. I think the reason why I spoke so much about Sword and Shield like that is because it's been getting on my nerves on how many people are actually like hating on the developers and hating the way how Sword and Shield is turning out. They're thinking about the old Pokemon instead of like the brand new features and everything that's coming out. I mean I've been trying to stay blind to the game but the few little things that I have seen which the last thing I saw was in E3 was yeah so anything that's come out from e after E3 do not put it in the comment section below. I only know like the first four newer Pokemon that was added minus the starter Pokemon. Which I think uh, two of them, no three of them were new Pokemon and the other one was of course an evolution of a new Pokemon. So I know about up to four of the new Pokemon minus the three so technically I only know about seven and I know some new Pokemon have been announced. So yeah, do not spoil any of the Pokemon. I will block your, well, I will delete your comments if you spoil any of the brand new Pokemon. And don't even try to be cheeky about it. I will still delete your comment. Okay, I know this conversation. They're saying like, ah, oh, give me the, the most powerful Pokeball so I can catch the most powerful Pokemon. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That's just my thoughts on Pokemon Sword and Shield. People, leave the devs alone, they're doing the best they can to make a brand new generation look awesome. And with brand new features and everything. I mean, in a sense, we are also getting somewhat of an open world experience in the wild area. It's going to be like a full on open world. So, to an extent. So, please leave them alone. The hate I see just doesn't seem justified at all. You'll probably say you'll probably say like, well, what if they end up not putting in one of your favorite Pokemon? Well, I'm just gonna go with what I said before. For the first like two months of the mate of the game, maybe even a little bit longer, I'm only going to care about the brand new Pokemon added to the game, using them, learning how to use them properly, seeing like their new shiny forms and stuff like that. Cause I am somewhat of a shiny hunter myself. I love shiny Pokemon. So for like the first two months, maybe longer, I'm only going to care about the f the brand new Pokemon, just the new ones. I really do not care at all about the old Pokemon for this brand new generation. And I just wish some people would see that the same way. It's new generation. We got new Pokemon. Don't care so much about the old ones. Yeah, the old ones are still pretty good. You're gonna want to use them in like competitive battles. Blah blah blah. I understand that. But still, we got new Pokemon. Learn them. You might find some new Pokemon that you'll absolutely love over the old ones. You never know. 
Okay, I think I've ranted about Sword and Shield long enough. <laughs> I admit, I'm kind of like getting my, my little bit of frustration here about all the criticism to Pokemon Sword and Shield in this episode. So, I think I just figured out the name of this episode, Pokemon Sword and Shield Rant. And that doesn't mean like I'm ranting against the game, nor does the title say that I'm ranting in favour of the game, which in sense I actually was. I was ranting in favour of the game because I want people to actually give it a chance. Okay, now that we beat Giovanni, talk to the guy. Oh dear girl, thank you for saving us all here at so Wow, well, I suppose that's so. Was well, just there, but uh, what a part of yours too. Don't forget to have your saved soul and remember the peril. I have to thank you in some way. I'm quite magnificent. So thanks, so I can give you anything. Here, maybe this will do. We get the Master Ball. <coughs> you can't buy that anywhere. It's our, sec our secret prototype, the Master Ball. It will catch Pokemon without fail, truthfully. I only succeeded in making just one. Yet, we can find more of them later on. Believe it or not, I have never used a Master Ball in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Never needed to, and I just didn't want to. <coughs> Alright, let's get out of here. See, situations like this for this episode, I really need to find something to talk about because I literally just spoke about one whole thing throughout the entire episode. Yeah, I really need to discover forms of discussions and topics to talk about in my episodes. I can literally just keep on going and going and going. <laughs> but yeah, that is actually going to be... Oh, you did it! You beat Giovanni, right? That archer guy made a run for it, so I chased him all the way out here. And then, all the two rockets grunts ran out to Saffron City too. Well, I guess we're just lucky you're such a strong trainer. To be honest, I was a little scared. Like, what would happen to us if we turns out the bad guys were the strongest, you know? But you and me, Opeka, we really managed to save stuff. Nobody would go through what Cubone went through. Now everything's back to normal, I guess it's time for the next Pokemon Gym. Have you been to Saffron City Gym already, Opie Maker? How many badges you got? That many, huh? Wow. Maybe we'll both make it all the way to the Pokemon League. <coughs> Let's both give it our best shot. See ya! Yes, that will be the end of this episode. Aerodactyl! Aero! Wee! In the next episode, guys, we are going to be taking on the Saffron City Gym. Sabrina's Gym. <coughs> bing, bing, ba, da, boop. This is going to be an interesting gym. That much I will say. Again, I honestly don't care too much about the trainers. I know that's the whole point of like the game and that battle trainers but I feel like if I just literally battled every trainer the series would take forever so I'm not gonna. I will battle some trainers in here probably not too many. So that will do for this episode guys I hope you've all enjoyed in the next episode we'll be taking on Saffron City Gym. Bye bye! What do you got to say Hyperchew? He's enjoying the breeze. Okay, bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.